day. We made 34 amp hours of power from the solar today. I've been fighting a problem for the last couple of hours. See, I got my tools out. Oh. A trusty multimeter. My inverter was kicking in and out. It wasn't dropping power to the house, but what it was doing is it's supposed to be charging batteries and then passing power through to the house. And what it was doing is it was the battery charge circuit would come on for a minute or two, and then it would just drop out and switch back to inverter. Of course, the power never goes away to the house, but I'm not charging batteries either. A few minutes later, it would try it again. It would kick on and go into bulk mode, not like the power. Because if the power's not clean, it senses something's wrong with the generator, the inverter just rejects it. goes back to in, inverter power to the house. So I finally figured out what it was. I went back through the AVR, the voltage regulator, in here, trimmed it out perfect, put my potentiometer at the very bottom of its throw, and set it back for 120 volts under load, exactly 60 cycles, and all that was fine. And I had uh, good power on one circuit. There's only one circuit coming out of here. It's all one circuit because there's a, a rotary, a drum switch, uh, under this lid where you can set it for 110 power only. So the full potential of the generator is on the one circuit and the generator's still balanced. It's critical when you've uh, got a setup like we have. If you had just plugged in a regular generator in here uh, that doesn't have a 110 only position, it probably would unbalance the generator and burn the coils out. Here's the problem. I've got a, a, a little sub panel here, and the breakers simply can't handle the vibration. And I knew it would be a problem, so I put a little piece of styrofoam under this lid to keep the breakers from shaking back and forth, and the styrofoam must have uh, slipped down. And uh, what was happening was up there at the inverter, I was anywhere from 70 to 97 volts, and the cycles were way off. So what that was doing was this breaker in here under extreme vibration was going on, off, on, off, on, off really fast. And so when I put the piece of styrofoam, I checked every connection, every junction box, every wire, not everywhere, and everything was perfect. So I went back to here and I stopped that breaker from vibrating and the inverter liked the power. So what I need to do is take this junction box off of this frame and mount it on the wall like it should be. Uh, I probably won't put it in flex unless I can find some. I probably have some seal tight up there. But I need to mount this uh, junction box remotely because the vibration is just going to tear that breaker up. It's got a big enough uh, job just to make sure it's doing its overcurrent protection. Trying to do the overcurrent protection when you're being shaken to death um, that's probably asking a little bit too much from that square D breaker. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Some of you might have said, oh, he better get that sub panel off that frame because he's going to have a problem. Well, yeah, here I am, 100 hours later, and the breaker's saying, I can't do it anymore. I'm really thankful that the inverter caught the problem and just says, you know, the power isn't clean enough. I'm just going to shut off and just go back to running on batteries until you can get it together. Well, we got it together. All right. Hope that helps somebody. Have a blessed day.